TikTok journey began. That began in August 2019, and it's such a cliche beginning, like such a cheesy cliche beginning. But basically, I attended a conference, a business and growth conference, and Gary V. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him, but Gary V. was a speaker there, and he was just banging on about how everyone needs to be on TikTok, and TikTok's a great way to, you know, to promote businesses, to promote creativity, blah blah blah. And that was actually the first time I've heard of TikTok from such a um, in my eyes, a valuable personality. Usually, we'd hear TikTok from, you know, like uh, not with a good image. It was still back in that day, like a very, very, you know, like a cringe app or an app that you wouldn't want to be on. So I went back home, and I, and it's uh, it's after I graduated uni as well. So I had a bit of time on my hands. I wasn't doing my CA. So I was like, you know what? Let's just download it, see how it is, see what the hype is about, see why he was going on 20 minutes about TikTok. So yeah, jumped on and and I think within a day or two days I was hooked on it. I was loving the content. I was actually really surprised because I went in with the idea and mentality that I'll be finding really cringy stuff, you know, things that I you wouldn't want to watch and all that. But I found really like humorous, entertaining content and especially from Australia as well. So I got hooked within two days and the third day I made a video. The fourth day I made a video and the fifth day I think it was my third video I made that went viral like what i thought viral was back then i think it got like 90 or 100k in like the first day so i was quite like surprised i was like wow so and i had no followers back then i, I told i told my boys i faced up some courage i was like look i've done something bad and i i don't want you judging me i just want your support and your honest feedback I'm like what have you done i was like i've downloaded an application and it starts with t and i'm and i'm really embarrassed to say what it is like, have you joined Tinder? Bruh. I was like, no, not Tinder, TikTok. So, but yeah, they, they were confused. They're like, why would you jump on TikTok? I'm like, trust me, boys, you have to jump on it. It's just so entertaining. And they all downloaded it with me, followed me. And ever since then, they've been hooked on it too. Pretty much how it began. Stigma has changed about that whole perception about TikTok being just cringe content now it's like kind of like providing all other platforms of content like you jump on instagram reels you'll just see re-uploaded tiktoks you go on facebook you'll just see sh tiktoks that are being shared so like everywhere you know it's just it's providing everyone with content and i think it's because it's so yeah it allows creators with so much freedom and flexibility because they have so much room to do whatever type of videos there's skits there's you know there's lip there's obviously the lip singing there's the dancing but then again there's comedy skits there's informational videos so there's just a lot and just caters to everyone's taste so like for example my for you page is very different from like the guy down the street you know like because i my for you page will be inclusive of some more desi and pakistani humor where his one won't be so i think it's very very good with the how it attracts you and how it keeps you engaged because the main thing about an application is how it keeps you engaged and TikTok's algorithm is very very good at keeping you there they weren't too fussed about it because like I know a lot of creators a lot of like big Desi creators that I speak with their parents aren't so supportive about these type of things but alhamdulillah my parents are really supportive like my my mom and dad like would ask me to send them the videos I make just so they can forward it on their WhatsApp group chats to their family and this and that. So my dad made a my dad made a fake account, but he used his real name, and it, like I got I gained the follow one day, and it was his real name. And I was like, "Did you make TikTok?" He's like, "No, I wouldn't make TikTok." I I go on his phone, and his most recent app is TikTok. I'm like, "Well, you know, you could have changed your name. I do see your account name." So now, alhamdulillah, they're really supportive of it. Like I, often I'll have my dad in my videos as well. I'm like, dad, I need a video, like do this for me or do that. So yeah, it's very good. My, you wouldn't believe it, but my siblings are the least interested in social media. Like my sister doesn't have an Instagram account. My brother, my brother doesn't have a TikTok account. He doesn't know what I post. He doesn't care about any, like, so my, my brother and sister are very very detached from social media and like they don't like they don't see like like they don't see what i'm doing as much until i show it to them like hey watch this watch this so yeah they're like everyone's just remained unimpacted by it it's 
honestly it just depends on the type of tiktok like i'll make if it's like a comedy skit if there's like multiple camera angles or like different songs or even different dialogues it takes like probably a good hour but if it's just a normal trend that i'm trying to like flip on its head like which i usually do not more than like 15 20 minutes all up i don't make i don't actually have like a weekly basis of how many i make but i upload three a day like three to four a day so like what will happen is if one night i'm a bit more fatic i'll just make like multiple tiktoks i have like notes on my phone about all right this tiktok this tiktok that idea with this song that idea with that and then whenever i get a night free during the week i'll just like batch make them and then throughout the week i'll upload them so yeah unfortunately i don't get that much time to like make a tiktok as soon as i think of one on the day my schedule so i kind of leave it to like the weekend or another night where i'm a bit more free but yeah, during quarantine when we were working from home it was a lot easier like i think that's when i was like putting out a lot more content but now that obviously offices have resumed back to work it's a lot harder so it's just a big batch one day and then just up, keep uploading for the rest of the week look my friend group was probably the most surprised like my parents like give it no like thought like they don't care like they they, they don't they, they don't see it as no achievement or anything They're like all right you're getting followers that's all right but like my friends were like bro you know i went like because they would tell me stories about them being approached that hey your mates of ramas hey like from their workplaces and their like different friend groups and they'd come and relay that to me so they were like they were loving it but i honestly didn't like I don't remember actually seeing that change. I just remember acknowledging that yet yeah, I'm getting a little bit more followers like on a daily basis, which is all right. But I've kind of made it like a go, like a plan from the very beginning that I started making TikToks that none of this clout, no virality, no followers or figures is going to like impact the way I think or I create. Like my whole thing was I just jumped on TikTok and I started enjoying the whole creating process. So the whole followers or anything after that like although i'm grateful for it i never let it like you know like get to my head because obviously we know how toxic that could be i think when you, you start getting people come up to you randomly at like places and stuff because i remember like december like before december last year like i would be walk at weddings and stuff and people would come like i I had three, four kids at like a different wedding. It wasn't even a Pakistani wedding. It was an actually, it was actually a Lebanese wedding I was attending, and they and the guests from there came over and they're like, "Can we take a picture with you?" And they said, I'm like, "Picture with me? I'm like, why would you want a picture with me?" So I was confused. But yeah, even now, Alhamdulillah, like, walking down like where I work and like the streets, and just in my area, like you get recognized. If I'm out with the boys at a dinner, I'll have some people come up and like you know talk to me about tiktok so alhamdulillah it's good but like i think that's when i realized oh, okay like you know like here i think that's when my mom realized as well actually I, went, I took her out shopping one day and when we went to the checkout the girl that was behind the counter she's like hey you're ramis from tiktok hey and my mom's just looking at me like yeah kia ore. i was like i told you mom <laughs> like, what can i say <laughs> favorite tiktok video there's so many, but I, I can like generalize or categorize. Like obviously I have my collabs with people that I've really enjoyed, like collaborating with people, like other creators, something I like really enjoy. Um, and obviously the whole Mariam series that kind of took off as well. Like, so I enjoyed that as well, just cause I got to like, it, it was fun in a sense, cause it was a very comedic type of series, but it also like portrayed very important information at the end about our culture and everything. So definitely like those like two other biggest like anything that's got to do with the collaboration with the creator and all the Mariam series videos as well. First viral. Um, I I I know it was around five six million views. I think it was something that that trended in TikTok India actually. So I'm uh, I. I think it, it was that one. Yeah, it was just me and my cousin, like, and I uh, made me, like us actually doing everything that was literal about the lyrics. So I think it was 
one of I can't remember the song's actual name, but it's like it went like main tumhe ghar lekar aaunga or i'm going to take you home something like that and i was like dragging him like i'm taking you home something like that it was very stupid but it got, it kind of took off most by wood 6 million so on tiktok um, probably like if you if we're talking pakistani if i'm if i want to try and like talk uh, attract the pakistani market you can't go like beyond Zad Ali or you know like Shavi Jafri like those boys so obviously I I reckon like some someone like those boys would be really really fun to collaborate with just cuz we're obviously within the same and market I like to you know like cater to like the South Asian and the Muslim market but I feel like they kind of do a similar job so yeah definitely them I I used to really used to look up to YG West as well like growing up like I used to watch his videos and that So me and him did a collaboration so that was like kind of like a yes like I did it like that was a really good moment um there's a few other Pakistani YouTubers as well that I'm like on talking basis with now so alhamdulillah it's crazy that a few years ago I was watching their videos and now we're like talking about making videos together so yeah, definitely those two if yeah. I had to collaborate with anyone like mainstream media or what not definitely Hasan Minaj like he's probably the one person I'd love to collaborate with but I know he's not on TikTok so I might have to like I might have to like propose something else other than a 15 second video so uh, we'll see uh recently just happened it was uh, one of Shavi Jafri's like friends like their whole wolf crew I'm not sure if you're familiar with him but Rule Nakwi Rule followed me and I wasn't following him And I was like I was like, I don't know if this is a mistake or not I'm familiar with Rules content as well I've watched his YouTube before TikTok so I was like oh my god what's happening here so I followed him back and he hit me up with a message first saying I think I think don't quote me on that I think it was him or maybe it would have been me starstruck by him but either way and he responded with saying that or oh, I'm a fan of your content I love the content you're doing I was like wow you know that was kind of a moment that oh well like it's just it's just weird but also very very like you know like humbling to see like oh. people that you followed for so long knowledge who you are and recognize your work so i think that's the like reese in recent times definitely rule <music> definitely that pakistani hum tv drama like get me a role alongside i know hamza ali abasi isn't acting anymore but like if he could come out of retirement if he could come out of his you know little <laughs> moment right now that would be the goal like just acting alongside somebody like that but yeah pick off that pakistani drama I believe so but i don't honestly i don't think you have to post to stay relevant just If you post consistently, I think the algorithm favors it and also your followers favor it. And then again, like if you're going to post like 10 videos every or like 10 videos once a month compared to 10 videos a week, like your chances of getting more engagement obviously are going to come from the 10 videos a week because there's just so much more volume. So in mathematical terms, it just makes more sense to be posting for more often. However, I don't think it's like a big make or break because i know creators that like voluntarily and like by choice only post like once a week or once a fortnight and when they do this so much hype around them posting that once a week or twice a week that you know it causes a lot of engagement too so i guess it works both ways the way i've chosen to go is just consistent because i feel like if i don't post for a few days or if i don't post for a week i'll just get lazy won't be able to get back into it Long, and so that's how I like kind of like to see it. Growing up, I was surrounded a lot of like as I said with Europeans and like some Turkish friends, so I never actually got to acknowledge the fact that my childhood or my situation at home was relatable to somebody else until I came close to like you know Pakistanis in in university and this and I'm like wow we all literally had the same childhood didn't we so like that whole relatable factor was really really like you know shocking to me but so like you know nice to actually see so alhamdulillah and I think nowadays as you said like kids our age we're all very supportive of each other and I think it's 
cause got to do with the fact that everyone's kind of like familiar and comfortable within their skin within their culture now where before I, I know a lot of people and I might have been victim I might have been guilty of this as well we'd kind of like put our culture under the blanket and not not necessarily be sh- ashamed of it but we wouldn't like bring it up to the table as the for as like you know the foreground of who we are but now I, I'm seeing like kids on TikTok which are young like 18 19 year olds and they're like all their content is just about being desi the the instagram school the kurtas and you know shalwars so it's good to say that you know the younger generation is a lot more comfortable in their skin now and and yeah. now with social media it allows people like normal people ordinary people to represent their culture in however light they want to do so now it's no longer that i'm going to wait for somebody in mainstream media to represent me make me feel like what i need to feel about my culture it's i'm going to do it myself i'll Let's set my own path so i think that's very good you know as long as it's done in the cred- in a credible way alhamdulillah it's good sent obviously like if you have too many people in your ear telling you you're great you're this you're that doing that it will obviously you know like make you in a sense hallucinated to what's actually happening around you so that's how i like to say, like you know, it's how i deal with like if i would get hate comments we, on a very rare on a very rare occasion or basis it's just that i don't usually look into that too much because on the other hand i'm not looking too into the compliments i'm getting either so i'm trying to keep it balanced i'm not letting either side you know affect how i'm like thinking of creating or how i'm actually doing what i'm doing